I have uh, photographic work. It is uh, photographs of self-portraits of me in a deteriorated, abandoned buildings in the local area, actually. And the idea is that I'm starting out photographing the scenes in this abandoned building. And then the more I went to this location, the more I felt that I really wanted to bring out some of the emotion that I felt when I was there. The, the really, it's, it's a place of despair and abandonment. And so I wanted the viewer to have more opportunity to, to experience that. So I, I photographed myself in the buildings and also I superimposed uh, myself in some of the pictures using digital photography techniques. So working towards the ideas of collage and montage to uh, bring out uh, more, uh, more emotion, more uh, striking images. The challenges in terms of being the artist and the subject of the, of the image. So it takes a lot of experimentation to make something work. And it's about, uh, it's about putting yourself out there a little bit too, to really be in this work and put yourself on the wall and let people look at it. And, and maybe they come away with the same experience that you do. Most people, when they look at a piece of art, put themselves in the image. They, what, what they bring to it is more important, actually. So this body of work I call Grief and Acceptance, and it's a series of pieces that I created from after my ex-boyfriend committed suicide about a year and a half ago, and then followed by a series of losses. So the art reflects different stages of grief um, and me trying to achieve acceptance through art making. The art, I mean, the art's not the challenge. <laughs> Life is the challenge, and, and then art is kind of how we are able to cope with it. <laughs> There's two pieces that are, I really, are really kind of near and dear to me. Um, one is depression, and it's, it's on this wall here, and it shows, uh, it's a self-portrait of me, and like, the feeling, how I feel when I'm depressed, like I'm trapped inside my head and like it's agony and I'm torturing myself. And then, you know, the things that I'm trying to do to cope with it, um, like, you know, using pharmaceuticals and, and um, trying to use nature um, to cope with it. And then the piece that's like, I guess my favorite in the show is Eric reincarnated as a bird. So that is a mandala that I made. So Eric, he just, he always loved birds. He would, he'd like anytime he saw a bird, you know, he would notice it and he would even call out to them. He just, I mean, it wasn't cute. He would just be like, call, call. And, it, and, and he just like seemed to have a connection with birds. And in my art, when we were together, it was someone I knew some, from eighth grade, um, you know, and I would always show him, represent him as a blackbird in my art because he loved art. I mean, because he loved birds. And um, I guess, you know, I was, you know, sad. I was grief stricken one day and, um, you know, a bird came up to me and I like whispered to it and I was like, Eric? You know, and, and like, I don't, I don't really know if he's a bird or, or or if he's anything anymore, but um, I, you know, made an artwork about him being reincarnated as a bird. So these are my handmade paper pieces. Um, there's this one is site specific. It's called foreboding. I make paper out of cotton fibers, abaca, and this one I embedded uh, mesh into it. Um, the process is pouring uh, paper. Um, uh, using basically a couple different uh, frames and uh, for these ones I made them outside so you can kind of see a lot of the holes and I use the environment to contribute different uh, patterns. So I, I make them outside. I made uh, a lot of these actually while it was raining. So yeah, so a lot of the decaying came, came naturally, um, speeding up using because the water will repel the fiber. Um, it's definitely hanging them. This is really my first um, site-specific installation of the scale. I was able to do that by kind of replicating this space in my studio and then bringing it here. 
So it's, I definitely had this in mind, the airflow from the, the kids walking uh, through the halls and uh, seeing it from below. And I have a studio at DC Art Studios. It's technically in DC, but it's on the Tacoma DC line. And I think this is a great asset to Tacoma Park. Uh, a lot of our community loves the arts and being involved. And, you know, I live in Tacoma Park, so being able to exhibit here is a great opportunity. This is what being an artist is about. You can't just keep all these things piled up under your bed. You have to put it out into the community. Um, you have to show people what you're doing. I think this is a great thing because this gives people the opportunity to not only experience art, but to, to uh, find out why the artist created it. And, and also, we're, we're here uh, in this themed exhibit, The Beauty of Decay, and we want people to think about decay, deterioration, grief, even death, because they are all part of life, and there's a beauty in that. It, it's, it's about the uh, ephemeral nature of life, really, that these buildings and, and this art is here for a short time, as we all are here for a short time.